And what is going on everyone, I'm Ducky and last night I was about to head off to bed when I was just checking over all the Call of Duty news sites and I came across this trailer. And this is a new trailer for the Black Ops 3 beta, Call of Duty posted it on their Twitter, it's nothing extraordinary and massively published, however it is a little preview of the three maps we're going to be getting to start off with within the beta, but this does also contain a few secrets which we'll talk about after the trailer. So as you could see in that trailer it literally just showed you off a few bomb points and hard point capture zones etc. So the first one we got to see was hunted and search and destroy bomb points and this of course will be demolition bomb points as well. So here we can see bomb point alpha which is going to be inside which means it's going to need a lot of protection and it's going to be difficult because you can't really overlook something that's just inside a room. However you can sit in the corner and watch the door and it's really a big lockdown situation. There's going to be a lot of choke points running into this zone. We also got to see Bomb Point Bravo and this I suspect is going to feel more fluid and rushing actually through the zone because just behind it we have under the waterfall where you're going to be swimming through and you literally dive out of the water and you can get the element of surprise. There's also a bridge which will have to be locked down and there will be combat over there and of course going through the water will immediately throw yourself onto the bridge in the middle of the combat. And then we got to see Combine and all of the hard point zones. A nice little feature within Black Ops 3 as well is that on hard point the arrows actually point inwards to the zone that is part of the hard point rather than just being on the door and you're not sure whether you're outside of the zone or inside of the zone. Like I've also said before that the arrows will go the colour of the team that is capturing the zone as well. So we can see a zone within the middle of the map which is highly overlooked. There's going to be multiple stories of combat actually overlooking this level as well as this is actually on a bridge and you can actually slide under it like we got to see in the Black Ops 3 multiplayer reveal trailer so it's going to be loads of levels of combat competing over this center point as well there's another hard point in this little pond area where we can actually see three ways to access this zone. We can see that there is going to be a wall running spot leading straight into it. This is thin so that's why there's actually the added verticality of being able to go higher adding more space to running into this zone as well as two other ways funneling into it and this is very open and it's going to be difficult to lock down. Another zone is inside a building. Again these are very difficult to lock down however we do have some other rooms surrounding it as 
as well, which is where you're going to be running through and carrying out a little bit of a siege. And then we got to see Evac. But what we got to see on Evac was some uplink. We got to see the two uplink spots, the ready orange and the bluey turquoisey kind of capture zones where you either throw the ball in or run with the ball into these zones. But we've been told that there's seven plus game modes within the beta. We know that we're getting seven game modes on day one. However, as yesterday's video uncovered, that more game modes may be added later on within the beta. It's important to point out that all the footage seen within the trailer I've shown you today is in fact from the esports reveal at Gamescom. So of course Uplink is going to be there. However, what they played at Gamescom was the pre-beta build. So that means that Uplink could be added later on within the beta period. So on the first day and maybe the second day we will be having the seven game modes and then perhaps on the third day or it could be any other day for that matter. It could be one hour after the beta comes out whenever they're happy to release it. We will be getting more maps and we will also be getting uplink it looks like. Of course this is a theory however it does look highly plausible. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know if you agree that we will be getting uplink and it also looks like the other map we will be getting is Stronghold in the Swiss Alps. It's the end of this commentary that means it's time for you to leave a like and it's time for me to start editing so I can actually get the video out so you can leave a like. I'll see you all next time.